Um, in 2019, I, I didn't really have the impact that I wanted to. Um, also, I was going through my own stuff and mentally, I think I wasn't really in a place um, where I could perform at the best level that I, I needed to. Um, and so, yeah, it's kind of just built out in different kind of ways um, in the national team. And so, yeah, for me, I always say when people mention 2019, it's, it's definitely a World Cup that I would love to forget. And there are things that I forget about it. Like I can't remember a lot of things um, um, because of this kind of where I was at. Um, and so just maturing and growing um, into myself. Um, and then also that kind of space where I had away from the national team. I think it was like a space of like two or three years where I wasn't a part of the, the team. Um, just needed to, you know, mature or grow, but there was like evolve in a certain way where I could be the teammate that my team need, needed me to be. So I think for me, it's like just like like the light gears away from each other. Um, but it's an experience that I felt helped me uh, to become the player that I currently am. I think the Sweden game actually gave us even more confidence, like to go out there and compete with the third best team in the world. Um, to score the first get and you know before they scored and have that lead for so long um, and to you know just lose it at the end I think in terms of you know a couple of mistakes that we made I think that actually gave us even more confidence to be like there's no way we cannot get out of this group um, and so after that game it was just like how how do we go into this next and you know show that what we're capable of and that we can compete with the best teams in the world um, and you could see that in, in the way we played against Argentina. Aggressive, going forward, scoring, we were 2-0 up and just, I think game management was not on our side in both of those games and we got punished. But um, I think then it just it grew from there. Our confidence grew, um, the way we kind of went into games, the mentality changed um, and just being confident with who we are. Um, and yeah, you know, you know you're the African champions and that puts a little bit more pressure on you, but you take confidence from that and you want to show the world how you've grown and the team that you've become. Um, and so for me, I think that Sweden game was actually the tipping point to say like, yeah, we're good enough, we can do this. Like, let's be confident in our abilities, let's be confident in who we are as a team um, and then we can definitely get out of this group. For me, it's very important for Safa to, to learn from their mistakes and show that you know, they are evolving, they are trying to do things better than what they've been doing. Um, and so, yeah, we all have opinions about the association, what they need to do and what they shouldn't do. But it's for them to take responsibility. The people that are there, that are in charge of football, that are passionate about football, they need to make the correct decisions so that we can develop even further. They need to get resources in, they need to make sure that Whatever they do is for football and, and not for themselves or, or greed or anything like that, but to put all the resources into what we know um, can make teams successful from our junior teams to Banyana. And that's the only way that it will continue to grow. Yes, Banyana has talented players, um, but we can't do it on our own. We have staff that need to be taken care of. We have all these factors that need to come together um, to make sure that the players that step onto that pitch are ready for whatever you know, comes at them. And so for us, it's now, you know, next thing is the Olympic qualifiers, going to the Olympics. And then again, um, going to AFCON at the end of that year and, and kind of making sure that we can retain the title. And then I think that will then catapult us into, you know, growing further and further. But there's so many things that, you know, you can touch on in terms of what will ensure that Banyana can get even further in the World Cup. It's a journey as well, like there's so many things that have to fall into place for that to happen. And I hope it, it does. Um, as I think for as players though, um, it's our responsibility to stay fit, to make sure that you know we are making those moves overseas, we are gaining more experience. And I think that responsibility falls on us, but there's also responsibility on the outside factors, the association, everyone that wants to see women's football grow and wants to see our men's team as well because when Bafana does well, it translates into other things. So uh, it's always funny, you know, when we are compared, but at the end of the day, we also want to see Bafana be successful. Everyone in the country wants to see that. And when Bafana is successful, Banyana is successful, the sky's the limit for the, the football in this country. So for me, it's, it's all those factors have to align to get to that point.